did, well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's on tape. I was going to say, did you want the door, somebody to guard the door to, okay. yeah. Jerry, give me your name and spell it for me. <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> My BSU ID. Where? Uh, go ahead and spell it for me. Jerry, J-E-R-R-Y, W-I-C-K-M-A-N. And your title. Director of the Plastics Research and Education Center. That, that makes sure that the, the people who create your name key don't misspell it when they, when they type it up. I thought it was a sound check. No, it's on tape. <laughs> She'll go, well, I didn't know. It serves as a sound check. Yeah, it does. Um, let's start from the beginning. Tell me what you do here. What is this whole thing about? This is the Plastics Research and Education Center. We have a two-year and four-year plastics program where students get heavily involved in part design, failure analysis, processing of plastics parts, uh, a little bit of polymer chemistry, part design, some simulation, processing from the standpoint of injection molding, extrusion, blown film, blow molding, uh, testing of plastic parts, testing of the plastic materials themselves. There are about 28,000 different plastics out in the market that we all have access to, uh, 17,000 of which are going to be injection molded, and that's one of the more common processing techniques. Tell me about the program. What are the students learning? One of the students. What, the stu what do you teach them? The students in the program get involved in computer-aided design, quality control, product design, uh, robotics, computer-aided... Uh, okay. Start again. Okay. What are you teaching? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, be Truth good. be known. <laughs> yeah. Be how, much, how much is this going to cost me to get that out of there? <laughs> it is Christmas time. <laughs> Wonderful fruitcakes from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> they use those for road patch. <laughs> what, what's, the, what, what's involved in the program academically? What are they, what are they being taught? Basically, our students are taking engineering type courses. We have an engineering technology program. Uh, They're getting involved in quality control, a little bit of polymer chemistry, introduction to plastics, computer aided design, uh, hydraulics, electronics, electrical types of things, all of which are associated with, with the plastics industry. What's it going to, I mean, what's the future out there? Uh, obviously, they wouldn't be in this program if they weren't one, but it seems to be a future that is growing beyond leaps and bounds. Oh, heavens, the, the future for these folks is, is unlimited. I'm envious of the jobs that they're getting. There's about three to four job offers per, per student. Salary ranges uh, very, very good, much higher than what I'd ever expected. The future is just enviable. Um, what distinguishes this program from what else is being taught at other universities? What distinguishes our program from other universities is the hands-on approach in our ties with, with industry, our ties with society plastics engineers, our ties with the Mid-America MAP, Mid-America Plastics Partners. Uh, let's start that again. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. What, what makes this program outstanding? What distinguishes us from other universities is that we have an emphasis in plastics. We also co cooperate and work very, very closely with the industry, Society of Plastics Engineers, Mid-America Plastics Partners, and our folks are ready to hit the road and do a good job for the industry after graduation. I got a letter from uh, Ivy Tech um, yesterday, and they heard our radio commercial, and we said, uh, Indiana's only manufacturing technology program in plastics, and they wanted to call our attention to the fact that they have some plastics programs. How do we differentiate between what Ivy Tech is doing, or you know, and what we're doing? Our, our program is very much directed at engineering. Uh, our students understand how the machines operate, why the machines operate, and also the theory behind the machines in order to improve quality, reduce cycle time, produce a better product, I get these sentences going and I can't find a conclusion. <laughs> well, let me ask you that again. Um, 
what, where's the, where's, where do we draw the line? What distinguishes you from what Ivy Tech is offering their students? Our, our folks, of course, can manipulate all of the pieces of equipment in the lab, the injection molders, the extruders, uh, the rapid prototyping units, all the test pieces of equipment, uh, and go well beyond that and continue the training, continue the education, and fit very well into an engineering application. You said this is a two-year and a four-year program? We have the two-year and the four-year degree program, yes. Is that different from what's, what is being offered around the country? Or is that no, our, our four-year program is very, very similar to other plastics programs in the country. The problem is that there are not very many plastics programs throughout the United States. There are not more than six or eight different plastics programs. There's, of course, some developing, but ours has been here for a long time, and we're continue, continuing to mature, continuing to get new equipment, and continuing to be state-of-the-art. Speaking of new equipment, uh, you've got a rather confined space, but yet you've power-packed it with a lot of stuff, high-tech, for lack of a better word, stuff. Tell me about that. Our equipment is, is state-of-the-art. Uh, can I mention names? Oh, or yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Our equipment is state of the art. We have a consignment agreement with Van Dorn DMAG out of Cleveland, Ohio, bringing a new press in January. Uh, state of the art with a very, very sophisticated statistical process control software package. We have a very sophisticated extrusion system with laser gauges, laser mics. We have uh, closed loop systems throughout the entire lab. We have fuse deposition modeling system systems, uh, rapid prototyping, we can go from a 3D CAD model to a prototype, which is very typical of what the injection molding industry uses, and also the extrusion industry. Uh, we are state of the art. We make changes on a very frequent basis in order to keep up with industry, because we, we view the students and the industry as our two customers. What's the industry out there saying about your program? I would rather defer that to the industry. <laughs> I, well, I don't. you can tell me, and then I, I forget the company you told me that we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go down to, we're going to, we're going Metro? Go down to India, no. No. Noblesville. Noblesville. We're going to go down to Noblesville. I, I think you'll find Lindsay, Lindsay Hahn to be a, a very congenial, intelligent, wonderful person. Industry comes back and hires our students repeatedly. There's a shortage of people, qualified people in the plastics industry, and the industry will come back and hire our people over again, uh, ask for more and more of our graduates. In fact, our graduates are being hired about five months prior to graduation. How many students in the program? There are roughly 100 students in the program. It's probably the limit of the program and that's all you Well, need. no, no, it's because we haven't done enough PR kinds mm -hmm. of things. And, and also, high schools are very, very reluctant to get into plastics, therefore the students just don't know about plastics and the opportunities. Uh, high schools are becoming, and we've been going out to the high schools, working with the high schools. Just step in just for a second. Plastics programs in the United States are, are getting better. Our typical source of students are, is the high schools, and they typically are not doing too much with, with plastics, but they're getting better at it. The industry is getting with the high schools and working with the high schools. The MAP organization is getting with the high schools. We've been going out to the high schools to, to help them get equipment, get materials, and look at various types of projects, whether it's in chemistry or whether it's in the technology classes or to incorporate some of these kinds of things in the math classes. Uh, later on in January, February, I will be going up to Penn High School in Mishawaka, Indiana to work with those folks again to look at their, their design competition. They're designing some products out of plastics and we get involved in those kinds of things on a, on a frequent basis. I believe this is the third or fourth year that I'll, I'll be going up there to work with them. Uh, we've worked with Richmond, Columbus, Muncie Public Schools, uh, Noblesville, Indianapolis, looking at plastics, and it's not just limited to the plastics, but also mold building and polymer chemistry, and the mathematics, and the simulation, and the robotics, uh, very highly automated systems to produce what you and I see, or what's over my shoulders, very simple types of products.
Okay. I, I, what are some of the maybe the job titles that graduates would have when they you know, what is, they could look forward to? You know, there are a lot of jobs. What mm -hmm. are the titles or the positions that okay. they've got? The, the titles that our students usually end up with upon graduation is production manager, quality control manager, quality control engineer, uh, production engineer. Uh, some end up as uh, plant manager. Well, that, that one, I... <coughs> Tell me about the... Do you, do you turn out products here, or is it all... Uh, do you make anything other than... What <laughs> Do you mind if I... No. <laughs> I knew it yeah. when I rotated. I was going to mess up my tie. No, no, it wasn't the tie. It's that cord. See, I need somebody in class to, to keep me keep me spiffy. Okay. You know, every 15 minutes, I need an update. We we produce a lot of plastic parts, test specimens. Basically, we don't produce too many plastic final products because we'd end up competing with industry. But what we do produce is an awful lot of rapid prototype models. And what we oftentimes do is take our products that we're producing here and subsequently go ahead and test those products so we can follow the plastic material from granular pellet form all the way through the process and then do subsequent testing. We can do the impact testing, instrumented drop dart, we can do friction test, tensile test, stiffness tests, a whole variety of different types of tests that the industry typically does and that are required of industry. Is this all for laboratory work and for the students, or is this uh, on commission by industry? We do work very closely with industry. We, industry will have problems. Basically, 85% of the plastics industry in the United States is 250 employees or fewer. They don't have the resources that we have, and we will be more than happy to do research for those companies, and we get the students very heavily involved in some of those research efforts. Uh, so that the students prior to graduation know what research is all about, real live research where the tire meets the road, uh, quality control kinds of things, the part design failure analysis, uh, real live problems. And we encourage the students to get involved in these types of things. The students are also co-oping. They are going out into industry three and four times before they graduate and co-oping for a semester at a time. This side? Right okay. Just look directly at me, and um, then uh, the camera will just pick it up. Forget that the camera's there. Right. <laughs> uh, give me your name and spell it for me. Rex Kano. Rex is spelled R-E-X, and Kano is spelled K-A-N-U. And uh, your title here at Ball State? Uh, my title is uh, Assistant Professor of Plastics. Okay. Rex, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Um, and you came to this country when? Uh, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as a boy? Uh, no, I came actually to do my undergraduate studies. Um, finished my undergraduate studies and um, completed my master's and went back to Nigeria. Worked for a while, then came back to do my PhD in polymer science. And finished that and came to work in Ball State. And so our benefit and our gain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you've been at the university how long now? I've been here for three and a half years now. Okay. I started working here in August 1995. Tell me about uh, your role as part of the plastics program. What is it uh, you are involved in, Director? Um, my responsibility here are one, to teach courses. Um, in plastics, so we try to make the students understand plastics material, how they behave, their properties, and how you can process them to finish products. 
Uh, we try to get the students involved in processing, different processing techniques such as injection molding, extrusion, and thermoforming. Um, and we also try to uh, engage the students in research activities. So uh, overall my responsibility is to help nurture the students in um, acquiring plastics, uh, skills in plastics processing. So the ultimate uh, goal is to help train students yes. to get a career? Yes. Uh, doing what? Well, um, the plastic industry is a very dynamic industry. Um, every so often new materials come up into this, you know, come up and we have to learn how to process this new material in order to um, make our companies competitive. And in order to do this, we need to have the necessary tools. So we train our students on the basics of material properties and how those relate to processing in order to get good quality products. So um, our students live here with the tools to come up with creative solutions to solve problems as they do come up in the industry. So we think our students live here are very competitive, I mean very competent and com you know, uh, in, their, in their profession. Well, and I would think competitive also because uh, I think students are competing with other students from true, other universities. True, true, true. That is correct. Um, what distinguishes the Ball State program? Uh, what, what's the, what are the outstanding features of it? Well, um, like I had said before, I uh, had my training in polymer science um, in the United States. Most of the program in plastics are. are, are on the graduate level from the master's and the PhD level. You don't have too many programs on, in, on the undergraduate level. Uh, so that gives Ball State a distinguishing um, feature in that plastic is being taught on the undergraduate level. And also, it's not taught as a fundamental or basic uh, research-oriented program but rather it's taught, um, it's more applied in focus. So students marry theory with hands-on experience and that makes them quite competent. Okay. Yep. Um, can anybody sign that on? Yeah. Um, when usually when I'm photographed with these glasses, sometimes they look like they're gonna be tinted a little bit because they are tinted just a tad. Should I take them off? Okay, okay. Um, Alan, give me your name and spell it for me. My name is Alan Lufs and A L A N L U L F S. And where are you from? I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. What year are you here? I'm a senior here at Ball State. And your major is? Manufacturing Engineering Technology with the emphasis on plastics. Why did you choose this program? I didn't plan on it at first. I, uh, I chose to uh, come to Ball State when I was uh, younger in age for uh, architecture and I uh, came here for a uh, Cardinal Preview Day with my parents and saw the program and saw the automated manufacturing line that they have upstairs and, and fell in love with that to begin with. And uh, when I took my introductory plastics course, that's when I decided that I didn't want to go that option. I wanted to do plastics. Why plastics, though? I've heard nothing but good about the industry. Um, there's plenty of jobs. The pay is really good. Uh, it's interesting. Not a lot of people do it. It's, uh, it's technical and I've always liked the math and the sciences and uh, I like design and art and it incorporates everything I've ever wanted to do. Um, tell me about what, uh, what you like best about this particular program. I like the Plastics Research and Education Center. I, I really enjoy working here. I've been, uh, I've been doing uh, research for uh, Dr. Jerry Wickham for over two years now. And I've had a lot of new experiences with different materials and different machines and testing methods and, and my favorite, which is rapid prototyping. Um, you're a senior this year. Yeah. Um, you feel, what's the industry saying? Have you interviewed for jobs? Uh, several, several already? jobs. Already? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, as far as jobs, they're everywhere. It just, it's just pick a state, really, you know, and your salary is, is phenomenal, the starting salaries, compared to 
to many other majors and on campus and, and jobs that you can have. I've been really impressed with it so far. The in, I've had several internships also, and, and they've paid phenomenally. I mean, just wonderful. What, what's, the, what's the salary range we're talking about? Well, starting out, we're starting out close to about 40000 and uh, topping out with this degree probably somewhere around the area of fifty to sixty thousand dollars and uh, that's without that's just with a it's bachelor's degree so is your graduate work in your future we, are you gonna need it I don't know if I'll need it but it's definitely in my in my future I plan on getting a doctoral for maybe Ferris State something like that um, I, I believe that a doctoral is in my future because someday I'd like to go into management and continue research too so um, tell me about uh, what you've been learning at this program I've learned a lot about materials, all sorts of different kind of materials, everything from steel to plastic, everything from testing those materials to uh, characterization, different uh, properties, um, statics as far as forces, um, structures, analysis of structures, things like trusses that you'd use in bridges, and um, design work, everything from board drawing to AutoCAD. Uh, in my plastics related courses, I've learned mold flow analysis. Um, troubleshooting, uh, oh, geez, viscosity calculations, every calculation and equation you could probably imagine I've worked with. Um, you lost me. <laughs> it, <laughs> there's a lot of physics and a lot of math, and, and but it, it, once it's all blended together, it's, it's a pretty technical program, but uh, it all makes sense in the end. Everything comes together. Uh, everything from designing an experiment to uh, calculating how much your profit's going to be if you're running a business, you know, a, a factory. It's, it's, I think it's going to pay off. This next question is going to sound like I want a real PR answer, and I really don't. But uh -huh. um, tell me about the instruction, working with uh, Jerry and, and Rex and, and uh, the involvement, the hands-on. What is that? Tell me about that. It's very personal. It's very personal. The class size. I've had classes range from eight people all the way up to around 20, 25. It's, uh, the classes are small. The professors are very willing to work with you at any time. I mean, you have their phone numbers. They never object to you calling them at home. You can call them at their office. They're more than willing to work with you at any time. Uh, the class sizes, since they're so small, you have a very personal relationship with your teacher, uh, with your professors, and with your students. I could probably name all the phone numbers right now of all you know all the people. It's a very close, tight knit. Everyone works together. Tons of hands-on experience and lab activity. It's very, very hands-on, along with the theory. Give me your name and spell it for me. John Baker, J-O-N-B-A-K-E-R. Where are you from, John? I'm from Alexandria, Indiana. Okay. What year are you in school? I'm a senior this year. And your major is? Manufacturing Engineering Technology with uh, emphasis on plastics. Okay. Tell me about the program. What's it been like for you? Uh, it's been great. I uh, came into this program actually by accident. A friend of mine uh, is an engineer at Delphi, and uh, I took a tour of a plant down in El Paso. Actually, it was in Mexico, but we stayed in El Paso, and uh, he showed me all the injection presses they had down there and got me interested in it, and he recommended the program. Is actually how I found out about it. Industrial manufacturing of some sort or uh, industry was, was what you were looking for. Right. Plastics, as an emphasis, came about 
once you took a look at the whole operation right. and, the, and the opportunity out there for you? Right. Uh, I was always in, just interested in the sciences and technologies in high school and bulked up in the math and everything. And I really didn't know where I wanted to go. I was thinking engineering or medical maybe, but this really attracted me. There's a big industry out there and really attracted me to it. What's the program that's been good? What's the best thing about this program for you? Um, there are a lot of good people here and they're willing to help you. Uh, there's small class sizes, so you get hands-on experience. And uh, basically, in this degree, you get to uh, actually work with the machines and touch the machines. And some engineering, you learn about it in books, but we actually get to apply what we learn in the books here. So is the program, a, a, are you saying it's a good blend of theory and practical application? I think so, yes. Uh, each class has a lab with it that you actually get to apply what you're learning in the classroom at the end of the week. And uh, um, What's the future hold for you? Uh, hopefully I'll get a manufacturing engineering job at uh, either a local company or somewhere in the Midwest at a plastics uh, firm. Um, you're by, are you going to graduate in the spring then? Right, May. Okay. Have you been interviewing yet? Or I've interviewed a couple different places. Okay, so people are already looking at you right now. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. That's, that was one of the reasons I got into this program, too, is uh, make a good starting pay, and it escalates really quickly after that, especially if you switch jobs after a few years. You, there's lar large pay increases once you switch jobs. Tell me about what you've been learning. Um, what is it that uh, you've, been, you've been learning that's going to help you in your career? Uh, I think the biggest thing that'll help me is uh, problem-solving approaches. Uh, we learn all about processes and injection molding, extrusion, all the basic plastic processes, but they also teach a way of problem solving, uh, going about fixing problems and uh, just an analytical way of thinking. So, uh, looking back over your four years at Ball State, uh, you think you made a good decision to come here? No, oh, definitely, definitely. Well, what would you tell someone? Maybe someone from your old high school or something asked him about, you didn't know what to do, what would you give him a recommendation, what would you tell him? I think uh, if he takes a few classes here to start out with, he can, uh, it'll open up a lot of doors. There's the possibilities out there, or there's innumerable ways to go. You don't have to go plastics, you can, just engineering in general, there's openings are plentiful.